Well, Cade Foster will put the ball on the tee, and as we get ready, folks, settle back and enjoy the sights and the sounds. The BCS Championship is about to begin. P.J. Lonergan is back and quickly on the snap. And there is the man, Randall, that they want to go to on the slip screen. And that'll give him third and short. Fumble on the snap. Jefferson will have to eat it for a loss. Play action. And McCarron's going to roll and dump it off. And that is smelling. Somebody who figures very prominently for this offensive lineup for the Crimson Tide, a very high percentage throw. He now edges down at the top of your screen, number seven. Third down, Matthew trying to get in. He's picked up, complete, and it's a first down. It is third down and five. And McCarron hands it off on a running play. Richardson tripped up, can't get the first down. Stopped a yard short on that play. Beckham is out wide. That's toward the bottom of your screen. They come back with the freshman running back. He is a big boy. And Les Miles has called this big boy football. There is that option look that we were expecting. And Jefferson a little bit sloppy. This is where well short of the first down. Upshaw with the tackle. Brad Wink. He could do it rugby style on the move. Straight away like this. Boom it. And Mays will return this from the 25. Comes right up the middle. 40, 45, 50. Mays breaks. Wing is there and he's out of bounds. Brad, he, towards the end of that play, he looked like he's he was... Hurt. Yeah, he looked like... Pull the hamstring or sure, something. Sure Herbie. did. And towards the end of that play, almost just gave up on the play and went out of bounds. A 49-yard return, and it gives Bama the first golden opportunity of this championship. And on first down, McCarron got time, comes in underneath, and a sliding catch at the 10-yard line by Darius Hanks, who must now become the go-to guy. McCarron. Checks to the right. Pump fake going to get hit from behind on the throw and gets it off in time. So it was out of bounds. Brad Smelly makes the catch. 23 yard. Shelley nails it. And that is huge for his confidence. Les Miles and this coaching staff kept this team together. Alfred Blue, the running back. A leaping grab by Odell Beckham Jr. Trying to get him to not think as much and just play the game. Trying to pick it up, and here he is on a read and nothing doing. And that was Kirk Patrick. But Kirk Patrick's there to make the play. Jefferson fires, and that is complete to the 47-yard line, and Beckham again. They need to avoid those third and six plus chances and get to third and three to four nickel coverage on this they drop it off to blue who's going in reverse against that defense that time and that was cj mosley kevin norwood also one of the wide receivers now play action mccarran on the roll gonna drop it off to smelly underneath for a first down mccarran deflected caught on the ricochet, and it was caught by Underwood, one of the tight ends. Final seconds of the opening quarter, and here's McCarron. Gonna go deep, leaping catch. Ball is grabbed at the 38-yard line, and Norwood, off the bench, made the leaping catch for Bama. Harrison Jones, one of those tight ends, is off to the right. Kenny Bell is number seven. 
play action. McCarron left open, takes off and slides to the 30-yard line. Pressure for the linebackers, and Lacey not going to get there. You're going to wonder why number three wasn't on the field. Here comes your 49-yarder. It's a fake. Shovel pass inside. Got. Oh, it's going to be close. It is really going to be close. Wow, wow. Alabama moves the chains. McCarron throws quickly, incomplete. And it is fourth down, and Matthew with coverage for LSU. From the left hash, blocked. And that excites the LSU crowd. I love to see a coach early in the game reinforce the confidence that he and his team have in him. That's a third penalty against LSU. Here's Beckham. They try to set a screen and nothing doing as Menzi, the corner. Daquan Menzi came up and made a fine play. McCarron forced out of the pocket. Fires complete to Hanks. Got the first down. He's looking at Hanks. And they'll run Richardson against the nickel for a first down to midfield. Claiborne up in bump and run, and so is Matthew. Trying to get a linebacker pressure. They can't. Smell it comes underneath. And well sniffed out by McElwain. On second down, the delay. Richardson's got daylight. 40, 35. Going to be run out of bounds. Close to the 25-yard line. Eric Reed coming over. Delay with Lacey. Spins to the left and crashes inside on a fine run. Lacey is written down short of the first down, and Brockers makes another impact. This would be a 34-yard field goal. They have faked one earlier with their other kicker. Nails this one. Here we go again. Sinceri is the free safety for Alabama on this series. Third down and long, he's back in center field. Terrific special teams player, son of an Alabama assistant coach. Low snap, Jefferson picks it up, nothing doing. They are forced to punt. So they burn a timeout, they come up with another sloppy play, and it continues. Richardson, you saw the picture, check back in. McCarron on first down, drops off the screen pass to his running back, and he's down at the 30-yard line. Matthew is picked up, coming on a blitz, and it's complete to the 45-yard line, and that is Norwood again. Safeties are deep for LSU. McCarron on the move, throws on the run to the sideline. Here comes the blitz. Picked up, A.J. throws to Hanks. Trying to break a tackle from Matthew, and he keeps going to the 23. Six seconds on that clock. Nick Saban's already called the timeout. With four seconds, here comes a 42-yarder for Jeremy Shelley. Laces were spun beautifully, and he puts them up by three field goal. Well, A.J. McCarron, talk about emotion, seeing him run off the field. First half, he is without a doubt the MVP. That effort by playing quarterback, and as you said, spinning the laces there to give his kicker Shelley a chance. Richardson opens the second half, and has Williams and Smelly flex over to the right side of the offensive line. And McCarron on first down has been a thrower tonight over the Honey Badger to Hanks. And they're actually going after Matthew in man coverage. Now that slip screen to the outside, and Bell catches an alley. And Bell in the foot race is out of bounds. Eric Reed chasing him. Second down and 10. Wide open Hanks. And he is to the 18-yard line. And he likes what he sees with McCarron throwing. Deflected. 
And that was a chance for Eric Reed to pick it off, but he couldn't quite get there. So Jeremy Shelley for 35 yards this time. Slides it through from the right hash. Jeremy Shelley, 12, LSU, nothing. In second and 10, just where they want him. Going to fire again, and they've got it this time. They hook up, and Lester did not get there on Beckham. Kirkpatrick pushes to the line. And now they come back with a running play. And Gentry makes a stop for the Tide at the 45-yard line. Jefferson's in trouble. Brought down, sacked by Courtney Upshaw. So it is first down and 10. A.J. McCarron and Alabama. Up by four field goals. McCarron going to go deep. Caught at the 49-yard line. Kevin Norwood again has stepped up huge tonight. And they'll run against it with Richardson. And he is jumped for a loss. So this will be third down and long. And here comes the option. Here is Ford. Could not get to the edge. And that was Jarrell Harris, the linebacker. Need a dozen to get to the first down marker. Jefferson. Interception. Threw it away. A horrible mistake. Mosley's got it. Bama is in business again. Needs to reach the 17-yard line. McCarron fires and a miscommunication incomplete. And here comes the one-man scoring gang for this game, Mr. Shelley. This one for the left hash. Here comes a 41-yarder. Misses to the right. Bama shows blitz and backs out of it. Oh, Randall shook off Kirkpatrick. And then he is thrown down at the 26-yard line. Where is the running back? Sacked. Can't get it off. Down at the 17-yard line. The tide rolling. Gentry in on the quarterback. Spencer Ware could not pick him up with the block, and Gentry just continued to power in. Now Jones is back deep for Bama. Not one of Wing's better punts. From the 38, Alley in the middle. Jones still on his feet, and he's to the 47-yard line. Lacey breaks to the second level, and a fine first down run. Still moving the pile. Lacey again to the middle. And again, he's breaking to the second level. This time to the 25 for another first down. Back-to-back, -back, tremendous power runs by Lacey. Norwood has been big tonight. Play action. McCarron fires middle to the one-yard line. Incomplete. It's being waved off by the field judge. Field judge came quickly up. Gibson was the intended receiver. In trouble. Shakes it. McCarron dives. And here comes that man, Jeremy Shelley, again. I'm going to officially say it's a 44-yarder. McCarron puts it down for him. And he bangs on it. Got it. A 44-yarder for Jeremy Shelley, that's a career long. Still no change at quarterback, even though the Baton Rouge natives are growing restless. Fires low, and it is complete. LSU can't get across midfield. Being stoned by this Alabama defense, which has yielded only 8.8 .8 points a game. Best of the decade. And they're closing in on another one. Helmets come flying against this defense. Got to hurry with the clock coming down. And nothing doing. Copeland, the fullback. Gentry again. He's blowing up the middle of that offensive front. Seven quarters these two teams have battled this year. Not a single touchdown yet. Down goes 
McCarron, mentor all over him at the 10 yard line. Cody Mandel, the sophomore, kicks it over to the left side, takes an Alabama bounce. Honey Badger picks it up dangerously. Honey Badger fears no man, but that time the tide rolled all over him. Spencer Ware is the running back. And here comes Ware. He bangs to the 40, so they're within 10 yards of midfield. Trying to get there. You know, the, a lot of people look at this LSU offense. They haven't been to midfield. You think, why not make a quarterback change? Why isn't Jarrett Lee in there to try to give him a spark? Here comes Power looking for that first down, looking for anything good to happen. Toss play. Hilliard freshman. Bust through. Keeps going. Can he get the 50? Throw him just short of it. Here comes pressure picked up. Jefferson forced to take off 45 40 a splits up the middle and down to the 31 yard line 32 yard line running the option didn't run it decisively pitch to the man who stretched out of bounds second down and 13 for the Tigers penalty flag stop splits a false start another mistake called so on third down Jefferson wings it deep, incomplete. Fourth down. Fourth down and going. That could be a fumble. Hightower got in on him. Dante Hightower ripped it loose. That's a fumble, turn it over. Look at the tide. Celebrating now, 6-15, up 15, dominating with this defense. Karen rolling hard to the left. He's going to take it himself. Dive forward. Jim McElwain calling the plays, hammering away at the clock right now. And Richardson breaks free on the sideline. End zone. How about that? Finally, a touchdown between these two. The eighth quarter of warfare between Alabama and LSU and Bama scores on a 34 yard touchdown run by the Doak Walker Award winner Trent Richardson who broke a lot of Emmett Smith's records back in Pensacola Florida and he surely will head for the National Football League next season. But he's Shelley hits the right upright no good. We had to have a missed extra point, right, with a touchdown. We had to have something. <laughs> Look at this. Somebody's going to see this score tomorrow, Dick. Oh, there are three touchdowns scored. How about there that? Is, there is Ingram. And of course, Richardson backed him up for a couple of years. Tonight, they've made Jordan Jefferson basically invisible in this game as Dante Hightower comes up with the play on Spencer Ware. But Jordan Jefferson has just not been able to get into a rhythm tonight. And he down at the 19-yard line. Hightower again, number 30. Hand off to Lacey. Clock continues to run. What a night. Not a single turnover. Only one penalty. That came on a punt here tonight. They have completely dominated this game. They have held LSU to under 100 yards of offense. They have 381. The legend of Nick Saban and how it just continues to grow after the championship two years ago. What this defense was able to do tonight to lead them to yet another national championship for the Crimson Tide. So on fourth down. Remember last time in the championship, they hit him over the head when they tried to get the water. Let's see if he told them, be careful this time, fellas. Alabama gets a second chance and makes the most of it. They win the BCS championship behind coach Nick Saban and quarterback A.J. McCarron. If it hadn't been so decisive, you would wonder if the Associated Press would vote LSU number one. But after what they've seen here tonight, 
There is no way that anybody can vote a team better than what we looked at with the Crimson Tide. Look at Nick down there with the middle of them. He enjoys the bath this year. Two years ago, he tried to keep him off the bat. Look at that rascal. Let's go down now to Tom Rinaldi.